Hi, my name is Leah Day, and I'm here with my husband, Josh, and today we're stitching out our last design in our Cheater Drunkard's Path block. So let's get to it. So you're nearing the very end of this block. Yes, that's correct. Um, just real quick, the whole thing's about half inch scale uh, and half, half circles. And I knocked out the easiest first, and honestly this was all just, uh, you know, kind of just uh, homework. It's just stuff I've done before. Nothing new, nothing technically challenging. So I already went ahead and knocked it out. And now I'm going to get into the spiral. And this middle spiral, this is the uh, this block is unique, as in it has to end right here on the exact middle. Yeah, and one of the things that we noticed as we were kind of just pl planning out the very end of how we were going to work into this area, Trash is going to come around and he's going to end up on this side of the block and there's two things you can do in this situation. You can go on ahead and stitch this kind of last little leg and then travel stitch back and then go into the spiral. Uh, you could break thread and you know stitch to here, break thread, start here and go into the spiral. There's a lot of different options here and don't feel like tra travel stitching that is going to be a bad option. And I believe that's what we're going to do, correct? Yeah. I've got to say, your line staying on the line with these quarter circle echoes has really improved. Oh, thank you. Just uh, okay. enough practice and you get a, ha a hang of it. I thought we're not going to travel stitch backwards. Well, you actually kind of hit the wrong line that oh, we planned. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. So why don't you just travel stitch up to here and let's stitch this line instead. And yes, I do have the hiccups, which is why I'm all kind of, my voice is glitching today. <laughs> It seems like every time I open my mouth to say something, I hiccup again. Perfect. And this was a very easy mistake to make. Uh, with all the, with the sheer number of echoing uh, half circles, it gets kind of hard to keep them in track, even though I planned this out. It just got away from me. And, you know, there's a lot of, you know, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. Josh could break thread here and swing back to, you know, pull up thread again and stitch this into the center and that would be fine. You can travel stitch over this way. You could even go all the long way around and travel stitch all the way around to get over here too. There's no right or wrong way of doing this. Really, it's just pick what's easiest for you. And actually, I'm going to pick an option that Leah hasn't seen yet. Oh, okay. Because I think this one will ultimately be the easiest way to go. Go with what is easiest for you because this will get me trained on finishing the spiral right here because now I'm now in the outer uh, the outer rim of the spiral. Mm -hmm. Because you're already making that nice shape. Exactly. Okay. So you travel stitch down and then uh, grab a hold of that line, go on top of the line that's leading into the spiral. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Very good choice. Now officially beginning the How's that feeling for you? I know that spirals weren't your favorite back in block number one. No, but this one, I like this one because we're going to end here. We're not going to come back around mm -hmm. that, uh, especially that, I, was, I believe I did that one unmarked. And that honestly was far and away the, the uh, most difficult thing I've done so far. And of course, as I said that, I go way off the line. It's okay. Also, take a look at your hands. You're winging one hand up real high. So yes, I've actually found that actually helps me. That helps? Mm -hmm. Okay. When doing these uh, curved shapes. Back it up just a little bit so people can see your hands on the block. How Josh is holding the block and what he's found most comfortable for his hand placement. You can see how his hand, right hand, is kind of up, up back behind the foot quite a bit. It's just another way to place your hands and, and find a comfortable position to manipulate and move the block up underneath the needle. Perfect. So I think my hiccups are finally gone, and now that the block is finished, of course. So how did that go for you? 
Oh, that went a lot easier than expected. The spiral uh, was not a challenge. Uh, the secret here is to knock out the two corners first. Uh, it's very easy, just practice. Those quarter circle shapes. Mm -hmm. And then knock out all the other non-spiral elements, the other quarter uh, echoes. Half, ha echoes of half circles in the, in the uh, center of the block. And then, then get on the spiral. You have to be sure that's the last thing you do because you will finish at the, uh, at the center of the block. Yep. Yeah, that's the way I designed it. But of course, if you find that something else happened, uh, I listed a lot of different options that you can do for that center spiral. You can travel stitch your way back out again. You could stitch right through the middle of those lines and kind of do an open spiral instead. There's a lot of options here. Don't feel like if you, you know, get in the, the spiral and you're stuck there and you have to break thread that you've just ruined your block. You haven't. There's lots of options. Even if you do break thread, it's only one thread break. It's not going to ruin your block. So don't worry about it. Don't obsess about it. Have fun stitching these spirals and echoes. So my name is Leah Day and I've been here with my husband Josh stitching out a block for the Building Blocks Quilt Along. You can pick up a copy of the Building Blocks Quilt Pattern and join us as we learn how to piece and free motion quilt 42 beautiful blocks. You can pick up the pattern at leahday.com. You can also pick up the Spoonflower Cheater Cloth that Josh is using at spoonflower.com. And, and, oh, and until next time, let's go quilt. <laughs>